Taurus sisters, it's Amy. I want to tell you about a new channel I've started and what, if you, if you feel called to join me over there, what I would like you to do with me on that channel. So I've started a new channel where I want to sort of document how the world is changing. I am very interested, as are a lot of you, <laughs> in, you know, the empty shelves at the stores and inflation and the supply chain problems and a little bit of politics, but I'm probably not going to go into that very much. Just all these things, immorality, a lot of things, but mostly I'm going to focus on, I think, food shortages, inflation, supply chain issues, um, some, I'll read news articles and things that I think are interesting. And I know there's a lot of channels doing this and I've been watching them for a year and a half. Um, so I'm throwing my hat in the ring. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is I want you to understand why I'm doing this channel. There, there are multiple reasons. The first reason is that, um, I see, I think there's a, a good likelihood that we're in the last days and in the last days there will be a great harvest of souls and it's not just people, not just Christians coming to Torah, but also the lost people who are completely lost are going to be looking for hope. And I want to be able to introduce them to their savior. So, and I don't have a lot of opportunity to do that because I'm home a lot. I'm not in the world a lot, but I'm not afraid to be on YouTube <laughs> clearly. So I'm going to use this channel as a way to say, um, I, in a lot of my videos at the end, I'll say, look, you know, don't be afraid because I don't think we need to be afraid of food shortages. Concerned, yes, but afraid, like this paralyzing fear, no, but sometimes things can get really, really bad. And I want to tell people, if you're looking for hope, it's in a Bible. And I want to tell, because this channel is going to be geared towards anyone and everyone. It's not geared towards believers necessarily. So I want to tell them, read your Bible cover to cover, start at the beginning and let the spirit speak to them as they read the Bible. Now, what I'm hopeful will happen is that it will bear fruit and people will be in the comments asking questions. Um, and I'm just not going to have time to answer tons and tons of Bible questions. I mean, I have big dreams. Who knows? Maybe nobody's going to go to the channel. There's hardly anybody there now. <laughs> this may flop. This may be a terrible idea. Sometimes I have bad ideas, but I'll give it a go. So if you want to follow me over there and every once in a while, check the comments. And if people have Bible questions, jump in and answer them because you're my Taurus sisters and you know about the whole word of God and you know about the hope that lies within us. And then once we repent and we follow Yeshua, how to disciple folks to, um, to walk out their faith in the whole word of God. So I, I just, I worry that I'm not gonna have a ton of time to answer questions. So if y'all want to join me over there, the other purpose of the channel to be upfront and transparent is I'm still trying to stay home with my kids. You know, I quit my job at the hospital and I have some different things in the works and this is one of them now. So maybe this channel, Yah willing, will grow and I can get some, you know, YouTube pays content creators to show their ads. So maybe in a, they don't make a lot of money on ads, trust me. <laughs> so maybe the really big guys. But every little bit sort of helps my family budget. So that's another reason I'm doing the channel and I'll throw affiliate links over there and stuff. Also, I'm very interested in the topic, but I don't want to do it here. I feel like I, I have a very clear mission and vision of what Taurus Sisters platform is for. And I don't want to get it too mixed up just because I'm interested in something else that's not appropriate for this channel. So if you're interested in food shortages and empty shelves and inflation, follow me over my new channel. I will put the link in the, in the description below and we will see what Yah does with that. If he grows it or not, <laughs> I'm going to try to post a lot. There'll be little, lots of short, short videos. Um, but I wish I had started it a year ago because a year ago is when it really was starting to get interesting. <laughs> so, and again, the purpose is not to, to spread fear, but to spread concern. Cause I, I think a lot of people's aren't seeing it. Like if their store is fine, they don't think there's any trouble. Um, but the stores here where I live are not fine. <laughs> so it's kind of just to spread awareness and to get people thinking, you know, about what they could do. Um, and it doesn't have to be, you know, the end of the world for bad things to happen. If you look through history, many people have suffered all kinds of economic and persecution and problems and things. And it wasn't obviously the end of times. <laughs> so regardless, I still think we should pay attention to it, but not in a, not in a 
panicked way. I don't think we're called to panic. I think we're called to be smart and um, concerned, especially parents. We ought to be concerned to take care of our kids and to see how we can help our communities. But more than anything, we have to be prepared to show people hope. Because to us, what's the worst that can happen with everything? The worst that could happen is we starve to death. I mean, let's be honest. If you take it to its conclusion, we could starve to death. And in the past, belie believers have starved to death and suffered persecution and things. But we have hope that that's the first death. We're, we're going to all succumb to the first death eventually anyway. But as the world, if it does get really, really bad, and if there's famine and things like that, we have a hope that we're going to be resurrected one day and not um, suffer the second death. I want to give that hope to the world. I want them to read a Bible because otherwise they're just, they will be panicked and terrified. We ought to be calm, diligent, and at peace. So I want to show them that. So anyway, sorry, I'm long winded. If you want to follow the other channel, I would love to see you over there. And if you have ideas for that channel, leave comments in one of my videos over there. Thank you sisters. Bye.